Alright guys, so this is more of a rant on how the CRF 250L Rally is almost a perfect bike in terms of exploring and dual sporting. But let's face it, dual sports has many definitions. From just a bike that can be plated but meant for hard single track and gnarly trails like the KTM 250 EXEF, just enough to get you back to the truck or something. Others will define it as a bike that is supposed to do great on the road and average on the trails like the 701 Enduro. And then we have others saying it's just like the DRZ 400 does awesome on the roads and great on the trails but this video will focus in terms of exploring on the road and hitting average OHV trails. Which is exactly what the Honda CRF 250L Rally was designed to do. So what if the CRF 250L Rally, not to be confused with the standard one, had the engine of the DRZ 400 or let's say a 450 engine? See, the CRF 250L Rally actually felt no different than the CRF 250L in terms of weight. It actually felt pretty nice, especially off-roading. The reason I picked the CRF 250L Rally is because of its design, comfort on the street, and how the ergonomics are, especially, you know, with that windshield. It's nice and high. It felt great. Now, I didn't ride the CRF 250L Rally at the dealership, but I did not take it on the trails. But when I was riding around the parking lot and stuff, it felt exactly like the CRF 250, the, the standard one. And to be honest, this is what a dual sport bike should be, as far as exploring the exploring kinds, like the 701 Enduro and stuff. The Rally did have a bit of a wider body than the normal CRF 250L, but the weight felt exactly the same. There was a reason the CRF 250L Rally did not sell as much. Most of us really wanted that Rally to be a 450 or something close. Most new riders would honestly just go for the standard one, the standard CRF 250 L. Because, well, the design behind the rally was to hit the road and explore in comfort. See, I'm not complaining about the weight. In fact, heavier bikes do better on the road. Anything around the 350 pound range and below actually does pretty decent on the trails. It's not that bad as people say it is. I mean, I've taken my KLX 250, the DRZ 400, and the 701 Enduro. But to cut it all short, this rally definitely should have been a 400 or 450 engine, but kept everything else the same. I mean, it's already six speeds. It already has the windshield and the ergonomics and the shape of the fenders and everything was meant to be ridden in comfort. In all honesty, if the CRF 250L Rally ever came out with a 450 or let's say 500 that weighs under 350 pounds, Without a doubt, I probably will get rid of my DRZ400E, I will get rid of my KLX 250, and my 701 Enduro, and just buy this. And I'm not gonna lie, the 701 Enduro is a little bit more uncomfortable on the road than the CRF 250L. One is because the way the seat is shaped, it kind of like tucks you in a little bit, if that kind of makes sense. The, 701 Enduro is meant for a little bit more aggressive riding, hence the very tall, flat seat. And also, just the way it's positioned, the handlebars and everything, sure I did add a windshield to it, but the CRF 250L Rally was just a tad bit more on the comfort side. And just to show an example, just check out my 701. I had to add a windshield to it because, well, 80 miles an hour on the highway felt like I was getting ready to fly off the bike. Now let's go over the KLX 250 versus the CRF 250L Rally. This is not really a true review but more of what it could have been and what I think of it versus the KLX 250. I know I mentioned the KLX 250 could have been the perfect dual sport if it was perhaps a 350 or 400cc. But after testing the CRF 250L Rally around the parking lot and the CRF 250L standard on the trails. I must say the Rally would have been the clear winner as far as the ultimate exploring bike goes. Now don't get it confused, the KLX 250 is a bit more off-road worthy, 
but the CRF250L is definitely more on-road worthy. However, I never took it past 70 miles an hour, but my friend who lent it to me, whose weight is similar to mine, mentions that he can easily cruise at 70 miles an hour in Colorado. Keep in mind, elevation is very high. Combined with this road comfort for long distances and the rally is born. And in all honesty, it is a dang shame the rally was a 250 instead of a 450. Heck, I would even be satisfied with a 350. Now, to sum it all up, see, speed is not the issue here. It is that power that lets you cruise at comfort at 75 to 80 miles an hour all day, and with how the ergonomics of the CRF250L Rally, this could have been what many of us were looking for. Anyhow, hopefully you guys like this little fun discussion. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, Rally or perhaps the KLX 250. Do you agree that the Rally, if it was a 400 or a 450, 450, would it have been ideal for the Ultimate Exploring Bike? Would you have purchased it? Maybe not. Anyhow, go ahead and hit that bell button. It definitely helps my channel out. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.